What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Blue, and y'all know what time it is. I am back with a cooking video. Um, So today, y'all, I'm going to make some fried salmon and spaghetti. Oh, I want some fish and spaghetti. That is a southern staple, y'all. We love fish and spaghetti and cornbread or any kind of garlic bread. So y'all, stay tuned. I'm finna jump into this cooking video. All right, so we got some Atlantic salmon fillets and I'm going to cut those up into strips and fry those. We got that Kentucky kernel, y'all. And I know it got fish on there, but honey, it is definitely for seafood. We got our spaghetti ingredients right here. Okay, we got some spaghetti sauce and tomato paste all righty i got some lemon pepper and a lemon for my salmon and we got some garlic knots y'all so what i'm gonna do first is get my spaghetti ready um yeah so y'all stay tuned Okay, so I'm gonna only use half of that since I do have these and do sausages. All right, so first I'm going to cut up some onions and put it in my meat before I season it up. So I got some yellow onions right here. I thought I had a purple onion. I really like purple onions, but I guess I don't. And I like to keep my onions in this little bowl so they don't go bad. It got a lid on it. So I'm gonna cut this up real good. Nothing fancy, we just gonna chop it up, chop it up, chop it up. And I'm gonna cook this ground meat down before I add my sausages because the um, sausages are already cooked. You just wanna, you know, kinda brown them a little bit. I'm gonna add a little, oh, you know what? I got some red bell pepper in here already cut up. So I'm gonna add a little red bell pepper for this okay. right. then you know I gotta put some garlic in there so we're going to peel that Cut that little part off. Now, I like to smash my onion before I chop it up. Okay, I'll drop that in there like that. Now, let me grab a fork. I'm gonna stir this up. Okay, I'm gonna stir it. Let that get cooking. And then I'm gonna add my seasoning. So we got onion powder. Uh, garlic powder. And 
and I'm gonna add some Cajun all seasoning. Get that stirred up real good. Now, while that's cooking, I'm going to cover that up and I'm going to cut up these sausages because I'm going to get ready to add those to this skillet in just a few minutes. My husband said he never had sausages in his spaghetti and... I can't believe I've never made it like that, but who knows? So I'm gonna use about half of the sausage. And I like the andouille sausage. You can use turkey sausage, you can use smoked sausage, you can use all beef, you can use whatever you wanna use. But it's something about the andouille sausage that I like. Okay, so we got that cut up. Let's go back over here. So this is mostly done, it's brown. So I'm gonna move this off to the side like this. Like that right there. And then I'm gonna drop the sausage in there. On the other side. So they can cook up. Normally, I cook it by itself, but I ain't got to do all that. Because I ain't going to do nothing but put it all together. So, this is how I look. In the skillet, so you see, I'm cooking the sausage on one side just for now, just so I can kind of brown it a little bit so it don't mix with the pink meat on the ground meat. So I'm gonna let that cook for like 10 minutes. I'm gonna start preparing my salmon, okay? All right, so with my salmon, since I'm going to fry it, I need to make sure I wash it real, real good. And then pull that back part out. I should have had them cut it for me, but I didn't go get it. I had it order from um, Instacart. So we gonna wash that real good. And I'm gonna cut this tail part off. I'm not gonna keep this.
Okay, let's doctor up this salmon. So, I'm gonna cut this tail part off. I hate the um, scales, they so messy. And this is like a lot of mercury. This is why you shouldn't eat fish all the time. But when you do, make sure you clean it real good. Now, normally I will bake this so this bottom part will come off easily, but I'm not gonna do that today because I don't wanna mess up my salmon. So what I'm gonna do is slice it like this. It's only me, my husband, and the five-year-old, so we don't need a lot. And then I'm gonna slice it down the middle like this, okay? take this bowl because now I have to go in there and see cut that off so this is gonna be our fish that I'm going to breed and fry cut that out and it's still salmon left but it's fine ain't no big deal I'm not cooking for a whole lot of people. <laughs> so it's cool. This, these pieces gonna be smaller. They gonna be like nuggets almost. Do this other side. perfect but that's what's left that's what we gonna throw away okay let me wash this up and then i'm gonna come back and show y'all how i season it okay let to check on this meat it's pretty much done So now I'm mixing the um, sausage with the ground meat. It smells good too. Okay, now at this point, I'm gonna go in with just a little more seasoning, not too much. So my onion powder, my garlic powder. Now, shh, don't tell nobody y'all, but I add a little smoked paprika. Just for a little hidden flavor. I shared that with y'all. Don't knock it till you try it, okay? Try it and let me know what you think. It got to be the smoke, though. It can't be just regular paprika. It got to be the smoked paprika. Okay. Stir it up. Yeah. There we have it. So we're going to cover that up. We're going to leave that on low. Okay. Now I'm fixing to season up my salmon. So I got it rinsed off. I'm 
I'm gonna put this paper towel down because I, I don't want it wet. Okay. I don't want my salmon wet at all. You never want your fish to be wet because it's not going to be pretty. Okay. So I'm going to lay these out so they can dry. Get all that moisture out. And then I'm going to wash this bowl back out because I'm going to put them in here after I season them and let them um, sit in this, this flour. But I'm also going to sprinkle some of this uh, lemon over them, okay? Because we like our fish to taste lemony. All right, so we're going to sprinkle some lemon juice on these. Okay. And really the only seasoning I'ma use, I'ma use just just a little garlic powder. And the rest I'ma use lemon powder. So you didn't bring my charger nowhere. Oh thank you, baby. Sprinkle some lemon pepper. I'm finna run a closer. Now this is already seasoned, so that's why this is the only seasoning that I'm using on these, cause I don't want them over seasoned. But I do want them to have some flavor. Okay, now I'm gonna put them in the bowl on the seasoned side, so I can season the other side and put some lemon pepper on them. Okay, now we gonna sprinkle some more lemon juice, the rest of the lemon juice on there. I'm gonna take the little seeds out. Okay, now we gonna add some more lemon pepper. Okay, and we just gonna take it and mix it up like this. Okay, and I'm going to be back. Let me get my um, oil. Okay, now we use avocado oil 100%, okay, to fry everything. So I'm going to be frying my salmon in this right here. All right, child. So I got my oil going over here. I have put my salmon bites in the flour and I got my water boiling for my spaghetti so everything is gonna be done like really quick I'm just letting this um oil get hot and then we're gonna get these salmon bites done I'm gonna put my spaghetti together y'all stay tuned I'm gonna show y'all the end results 